everyone, Lois here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. The following gameplay footage, as you see here in this video, was shot in the afternoon on March 17th, 2022, and I'm about to talk about what Niantic has announced. And they have announced we are getting a new event which is called the Lush Jungle event which of course will mark the debut of Formantis which is another Alolan Pokemon. And of course we're going to get another one of the Island Guardians this time Tapu Lele a weekend park spotlight and so much more and of course during this event cotton tea will be available as a shiny for the first time ever and of course the new Pokemon that that we are getting will be for Mantis and L Lorantis which is its evolution and of course, we're getting the guardian identity of Akula Island, Tapalele, as a level 5 raid boss. And of course, to tie in with this event, we are also getting a special research entitled Akala Island, which of course is a reference to the island that Tapalele is the guardian of in the Gen 7 games and we will also be getting a timed research event as well and of course the following Pokemon that will be in the wild including the one I mentioned will be Metapod, Paris Execute, Hoot Hoot, Sudowoodo, Furrow Seed, Pinsir, and Cotton Tea and of course Paris, Execute, Hoot Hoot, Pseudo Udo, Furrow Seed, and Pinsir will be available as Shinies alongside Cotton Tea. Metapod will not be available as a Shiny because it's pre-evolution. Caterpie will be a level 1 raid boss, which of course is available as a Shiny. So if you want Shiny Metapod, you have to catch a Shiny Caterpie and evolve it into Metapod. And of course, we're getting Bellsprout, Tangela, Sawado, and Cotton Tea as level 1 raid bosses. And of course, even though I mentioned that Cotton Tea will be available as a shiny, that and of course, Bellsprout and Tangela are available as shinies to catch in raids. Swedado is not available currently as a shiny. And of course, three star, yeah, three star bosses include Butterfree, Vileplume, Parasect, and Cantonian Executor. And of course, Tapalele is the new level five raid boss. As for the new Mega Raid boss, Mega Charizard Y, which of course you can get Shiny Charizard as a reward if you win the raid. And of course when I mentioned about Caterpie, I, I meant to say it's available as a field research reward to get as a Shiny. And of course... In addition to Execute and Cotton Tea being available as Shinies during this, these rewards for completing these field research encounters, you'll also be able to get Execute, Sunkern, Wormpool, Sea Dot, and Paris. And of course, Parasect is not available as a Shiny because you have to evolve. 
Paras into Parasect to get its shiny form. In other Pokemon news, this week on the Nintendo Switch, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl launched a new update on the Nintendo Switch, which means you'll be able to catch Arceus in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but it requires you to beat the game. And of course, starting on April 1st until the end of the month of April, you'll be able to get the mystery gift, which will allow you to go to New Moon Island to catch Darkrai in those titles. One more thing, I'll be doing a birthday stream this coming weekend on March 19th, possibly between 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch at twitch.tv slash lewadventures. I'll be finishing up Need for Speed High Stakes. It's going to be a fun and exciting live stream and weekend for me as it's my 38th birthday and I cannot wait for my birthday. Not to mention, if you want to see my interview with Trina Mason, the edited version, I'll be sure to post the link in the description below. Thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure!